Hey guys, it's Margaret Lynch, creator of the Tapping and 12 Coast Training Program, and I'm here with you a little bit earlier today because today is a very, very big day for me. Um, for In the first place, I'm actually moving my daughter, Emma, into college today. So we're up, up bright and early, and we've got to get her moved into college. So it's a very big day for me on a lot of fronts. It's also a very big day. Um, I'm getting choked up. God, it's early in the morning to get choked up, but she is my baby. Um, it's also a big day because we are opening the doors to the enrollment to the Tapping into Wealth Coach Training Program. The fourth video has just been released live in this series of four videos. And in this video, I am going to give you another powerful download. Um, and I do ask you to watch the video and I tell you how to get the download because it's really for action takers. But this is the download I want to give you. Um, it's called The Map of a Powerful Session. It looks like this. I know it's backwards. Um, and it's following the results and commitment approach to coaching and healing. And it's, it truly is my step-by-step -step guide to designing an effective client session so that within each session, you are very, very effective with your clients. I'm going to just kind of run through this. But again, we are opening enrollment today for the Tapping into Wealth Coach Training Program. So it's going to be only be open for a few days. This is your opportunity to step in and actually start training and practicing and gaining confidence very, very quickly to have a career that you love making a really big impact on people. And I promise you, you can do it. Like the way that I teach this material, hundreds of coaches have been through this program. It is learnable. You will digest it and you will find yourself, even in your very first module that you then practice on somebody, you will find yourself blowing people away with how much you know and how much you can actually see with your new vision that I teach you. Um, and so today is the day. So it's a really big day for me. It's really exciting. We do only enroll people um, twice a year and we do it in a very small window because we have to put all of our resources and all of the new coaches that come into our program. So don't hesitate. The spots are limited. You want to jump in there. So um, the handout that you're going to get in this last video today, it's the last piece of the puzzle for you from this whole training series because I've talked about a whole system of coaching and in this handout, I have a fan on me, can you tell? In this system, um, in this handout, it's really about just one session, how to run one session powerfully. So I've given you lots and lots of tools of how to have an approach from the client attraction, the first thing you say to a client, to how you wow them, to how you captivate them, to how you enroll them into, into being your client. Um, I've given you a system so that you can see how to work people through a process from diagnosing and seeing the hidden blocks to giving them aha moments all the way through healing the roots of what's keeping them stuck and then moving them towards a dream life that they truly want, a larger system of coaching that you can plug modalities into. I think I have to move my fan. <laughs> Okay, um, but in this handout, it's really about the map of a powerful session. And so I'm just going to give you some of the steps in here. This is a, a serious, it's like a nine-page handout, okay? And so it's really a step-by-step -step guide to designing an, an effective client session. You can use this over and over and over. Uh, you will actually, absolutely want to print this and possibly even laminate it. I was a big fan of putting things in plastic sheet protectors. Um, so the very first part is all about... If it's a very first session with a new client, you want to do some extra things in particular. Um, and then I give you some examples of the way the Tapping Into Wealth coaches enroll a new client, what they do in that very first session, because that's a very special session. After that, after you go through that process, in each subsequent session, you're going to follow these steps. I'm going to run through them quickly, but of course, there's more detail in the handout. You just need to get this download. Um, so the first step is to set the intention to work together powerfully. That involves reconnecting on goals and their progress. If it's a subsequent session and, and all the aha moments that they've had, more detail there. Secondly is going to be look for and address any resistance because clients are always in a state of resistance every time they come for a session with you. The same thing when you do in group process, right? Number three, work um, the clarity process for that session. So every session starts with a clarity process, some kind of exercise that will diagnose, give you insights, give the client aha moments before you even get into the work. Number four, step number four, is stop for moments of consciousness. When you, as the coach, recognize significant events in the session, you er, stop the session. You know, we get excited as coaches when we see something big and someone says something we're very, very revealing. We're like, wow. And then we dive in with our modality. But in this process, you actually stop. You take the time to presence it. You take the time to make sure that the client 
can digest it and actually see how big it is and connect the dots that you have already connected at a million miles an hour in your brilliant little coach's brain. And I will teach you how to read and interpret every single thing you see when you do these exercises. When you connect it, you need to stop and make sure they get connected so that they understand the power and the impact of the work you're doing together and they stay committed to the process. And so, you know, we're actually on step four and we haven't even talked about the modality yet. We haven't actually done any healing or clearing. That's why I want you to have this map of a powerful session. It's going to keep you on track. Step number five, still not the modality, courage to bring clarity to the real cost. So after you bring these moments of consciousness, which I call MOCs, moments of consciousness, each one of them you're going to allow to sit in a little bit longer and deeper we're, we're still packing the car, um, so that you really can let the client see what the costs are to continue. And yes, it does take courage. That's why this step is called the courage to bring clarity to the real cost. Because when you get agreement with your client that whatever you have uncovered has been costing them, whether it's in pain or actual money or both or in some kind of life consequences, you get that agreement that this is powerful, important work that they need to do. They enroll, right? So this is a process of keeping your client engaged and committed and actually seeing the value of what you're doing. Okay, number six is choose which issue you're going to process, you're going to work through, you're going to go into the deeper um, spaces in the session and measure the intensity. This is an extremely important step. We don't just jump into the healing or transformation. We always start by measuring. Why? Because we want to be able to show a client, wow, you were at a 10 on a scale of 1 to 10 and now at the end of the session you're at a 0. That's amazing. You want to have this piece as well because it's measurable and it impacts people in a different way. Okay, now number 7 is finally Use the tapping or the modality approach that you use. So that's finally when the healing comes in to clear, or uncover, or shift, or bring healing. Number eight is stop again for moments of consciousness. When you see any time, even in the process of doing the healing or tapping work, you see a major aha moment or a root cause, you want to stop the session again and review that moment of consciousness with the client. And again, number nine, again, the courage to bring the real clarity to the cost, right? So represents the cost. And so an example of this is you, you might look at a client who's saying, I keep procrastinating, and you get to like, okay, how, how long you've been doing that? How much does that cost you? It's kind of a surface issue. Now, later in the session, we get into the healing. We get into the modality. My, my mod, main modality is tapping. So through the tapping, we would all of a sudden find maybe something like a tremendous amount of grief from a past event, maybe the things that I call like a financial trauma or a goal trauma. We get to that and I would stop again, even though we're in the middle of the process and the healing, and say, wow, do you see that you've been carrying this grief and how much has that cost you? So again, we go to this courage to stop the session and bring clarity and, and clarity to the cost. Um, number 10, shift to awareness. Right, in, in the tapping into wealth work, we call this um, consciousness tapping, where we start, we tap about what we've realized, like, wow, I've seen a lot today. And we really um, use the tapping instead of as a clearing technique at the end of a session or a discussion to really like dial in and presence and put voice, right? Put voice and more attention to the aha moments that the client has had and the shifts that they have had. This really cements them in, gives the clients the languaging after the session to think about it, to have a framework for it, to even describe it to somebody else when they say what happened in the session. They can actually have that language because you've presenced it and put language to it in the session. Um, let's see. Number 11, review the aha moments and the measurable shifts. And then number 12, end the session with a strong, positive, um, and visual suggestion, right? So positive suggestions and visualizations are always a great way to end a session. It leaves a client feeling really good, really positive, really excited, um, and absolutely um, give them homework. So there's some specific things I give you in this step 12. I know it's backwards on the screen. Um, that that uh, about specific things to say about noticing the absence of, which is a particular technique I like to do, especially in this work. 
Um, and I, and I, I say here, you know, it might seem like a lot to have 12 sessions to keep in mind, but I, I promise you that this will become easy for you. It will become um, more ingrained into your natural way of doing things, and it will absolutely triple, maybe even 10x the power of your sessions. As many seasoned coaches and even therapists who've been working for years have told me when they shifted their energy this way, they felt more powerful, more in control, more confident. And of course, their clients felt more held in their authority and in their safety and in their ability to hold the session very, very powerfully. So that is my gift for you today. You have to go and watch the fourth video that's out today. And then this gift is what's coming at the end of that video. And again, this is your day to really think it's time. It's time for you to step up, to become the coach that you want to be, to add some tools to your toolkit if you already are a coach that will give you wow results to your customers and certainly a bigger stream of clients coming into your practice all the time, which is awesome. Super excited. So I got to go. I got to go move my daughter into college. I got to get ready to cry off all of this makeup and then try to hold it together in front of the other parents. Um, so it's a big day for me on both fronts. And so um, you can't join me in moving my daughter into college, but absolutely I'm inviting you to join me into the Tapping into Wealth Coach Training Program. Watch the video, see what it's all about, and then make sure you get your handout map of a powerful session. And I'll see you soon. Bye.